Thanks very much. I'm, uh, I'm Jake. It's nice to be here. I'm uh, just getting, I just got a new prescription in my glasses, so I'm a little upset uh, because uh, I'd assumed that uh, myself and a few of my friends were a little better looking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, than, yeah, than it turns out we actually are. But uh, I, I like the glasses on the whole. I had uh, contact lenses for a little while. I couldn't, I had, I got the hard contacts and uh, Oh, it was like I had a toenail, right in my head. And uh, so I, I go into the doctor to complain, you know, because I thought I got a bad pair or he forgot to give me some ointment or something. And I, I tell him, it was like a toenail right in my eye. And he says, uh, oh, you get used to that. No, if I have a toenail in my eye, I don't want to get used to it. I, I want it out. I, I, I suppose you would get used to a nail in your head too, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you don't see me going down to the hardware store to have one installed. And there was just pound a ten penny right in there for me. No, I'll, I'll get used to it. <laughs> My sport coat will look great hanging up there. <sighs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want that. I wish, though, that I, I could wear my glasses when I sleep. That's my problem. I have to take them off. I have to take them off to sleep because they jam into my head. And so, and so I take them off, and then my dreams are all blurry. Uh, so I can I mean, I can sort of make it out. I can tell there's a bunch of naked people. Uh, but, yeah, I, I can't tell which one is me, though. And so, it's very frustrating. It, it's actually, it's similar to if you ever watch the Playboy channel, uh, but you don't pay for it. Uh, you, you know? yeah, well, you, you know it's good, but you can't figure out the plot. And so I'm just, we just got the uh, cable at our house, TV, and, and, and a new TV, too. And so, so now I'm worried somebody's going to break in. And so we're trying to take home security precautions. And what do you, everybody said, you know, get a pet or an animal or something. Well, we have a cat already, but yeah, she could care less about our stuff. Um, so, uh, and then pit bull, that's what everybody said for a while, but the pit bulls, I, they're not, you don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure if they know if they're supposed to attack them or you. Um, you know, they know they're supposed to attack somebody, um, but uh, until they straighten out that pronoun thing. Uh, yeah. Shy away from the pit bulls. But I'm, I'm thinking of getting a pig to guard the house because, right, because they're, they're smart and they eat garbage. And so those are, those are our criterion. And so, and also, if you have a pig guarding the house, it's kind of entertaining. Somebody breaks in, you want to sneak to the room where the guy is so you can get a look at the expression on his face. Um, and that 600 pound hog charges from the kitchen. A big pig chasing the guy. Like, that's, my, that's my impression of a pig chasing a guy. Thank you. And then, uh, so, if you were in the kitchen, it would look like this. To, and then uh, I get, the guy, I don't know what, he would be like, he would take off, it would have to be. You could pull a girl like that, running away from a pig, if you didn't warm up ahead of time. I don't know. I don't know if the prowlers warm up, but they should. Uh, so, and the best thing about having the pig, though, guarding your house, is if, if, even if the prowler kills your pig, you can eat it. Uh, Right? So, uh, exactly. Yeah, great. A dead pig is worth much more than a dead dog, no matter how you slice it. And, uh, people, okay. Well, people argue with me, though. They'll say, oh, no, some people eat dogs, but I, I don't believe people are eating dogs, or you wouldn't see them out on the highway, you know? And I, I just, uh, Right, I mean, someone would pick, I, I've never seen a dead pig on the highway, for example. <laughs> Somebody hits a pig, the next guy squeal over, throw it in the trunk, you know, they're it's very yummy delicious, those pigs. But, uh, oh, and as a travel tip, if you see a pig on the way home or whatever, you, you, you might, well, you might have to split it with some of the other motorists uh, to avoid a fracas. But uh, if you strap it right to the engine of your car, that way it'll cook on your way home. And then you have nice hot pig sammies. Mmm, yummy. Um, so we, but I never saw the pig. Even when, on those vacations when I was a kid, my dad would take us everywhere and never saw a pig. We always, though, we would see those big hunks of rubber on the freeway.
but I never saw it happen. They were just there. It's like, it's like a mystery or something. Then finally it dawned on me, evidently, they try and cross at night. And, yeah. So, they're hypnotized by the headlights and, and uh, they freeze up, so... If you see them trying to make it, hit the brakes and let them go, because uh, they're not good eating. And uh, maybe one day again, the great herds of giant hunks of rubber will roam the range as, as they did years ago. Anyway, thank you very much.